Liverpool failed to return to the top of the Premier League table on Sunday afternoon after being held to a goalless draw away to Everton. Manchester City's 1-0 win at Bournemouth meant the Reds slipped to second place, and a frustrating Merseyside derby means that's where they ended the weekend. Main man Mohamed Salah was brilliantly denied twice first from Jordan Pickford save when clean through one goal, and then from a last-ditch Michael Keane challenge. Jurgen Klopp made the headlines at full time, not only for mentioning the wind again as a factor in Liverpool's display, but also for an interaction with an Everton ball boy. Almost everyone thought the Liverpool manager was rattled, but the ball boy's father tweeted on Sunday night to shed light on what was said between Klopp and his son. Liverpool fans weren't happy with Klopp's subs Klopp blame Swind again after Everton drama in hope in points, when Liverpool lost momentum Everton frustrate Liverpool in derby draw Liverpool enjoyed 58% possession, but simply couldn't find the cutting edge required to break down a determined, resolute Everton who were given great support from the home crowd. In desperate search of a goal, Klopp introduced Roberto Firmino, but chose to leave the attacking options of Naby Keita, Zerdan Shakiri and Daniel Sturridge all on the bench. What happened between Klopp and Ballboy? The 51-year-old got all fans taking it the final whistle, when cameras appeared to show him on the receiving end of sarcastic applause as he walked past an Evertonian Ballboy. Many people who viewed the incident said the 51-year-old was rattled and labelled the exchange as a heated one, however the ball boy's dad has now dropped some details. After confirming that it was his boy Charlie that clapped at Klopp on Twitter, Steve Callahan joked that he can't take his son anywhere. Later, Callahan tweeted to say that Klopp made no threats towards Charlie whatsoever, and that the entire interaction was nothing but some good-natured banter. Callahan has since protected his account, meaning the wider public can no longer access his tweets, but an image of the post is shown below. The tweet included a video of the post-match scenes at Good Eisen and read, just a bit of banter between Charlie and Klopp at the end. No threats by Klopp or Charlie. All good-natured what the derby is all about. Charlie just asked him what he thought about the World Cup final. Following a hugely intense Merseyside derby, it's great to hear from the ball boy's very own father, who is an Everton fan, that Klopp kept his cool and didn't insult anyone in any way. That said, the German will be hoping his team return to winning ways when they host Burnley on Sunday before the Champions League second leg against Bayern Munich. How do you feel after finding out what really happened between Klopp and the ball boy? Does that show the spirit of the Merseyside derby? Have your say in the comments box below.